Yeah, well, we got some stuff to work on. Um, <laughs> no, we, we really do, and, uh, you know, myself, just trying to find uh, a rhythm early on. Um, but it, hats off to our guys up front uh, and our running backs for um, you know, establishing a run game early. That, ha that helps us out so much. They did a hell of a job, you know, protecting all day. Um, and, again, our, our guys made some plays. And to feel the way we feel, um, knowing we could have played better, winning 35-0, to zero, I, you know, I think that's a good problem to have. Josh, did you kind of take us inside that statement, trying to find a rhythm early on in terms of your, we kind of talked about that last week a little bit, uh, after you didn't hit uh, that deep ball early or whatever against Pittsburgh. But coming out of the half, you got the drive together. Talk about that process today and maybe where your game is at. Yeah, just, just finding some comfortable plays that, um, you know, the entire offense likes. Our receivers are comfortable with some of the stuff that we were running in the second half. Um, you know, I know I was. and. Uh, not saying that I wasn't early on, uh, but we had some more more game plan stuff trying to trying to put in, and um, you know, hats off to them. They got some really good players over there, and they made some really good plays today. Um, you know, but there's some things that we need to do better communication wise, and you know, starts with me. So uh, again, well, it, it, there's gonna be a lot of stuff to learn from on this tape, and uh, again, winning the way we did, um, it feels good. Yeah, they're they got some players. Um, you know, they get paid on that side of the ball too, and you know they're supposed to make some plays, and um, you know they did today. But again, we can clean some stuff up, especially with myself, just finding some some stuff early on and, and getting off quicker, uh, off the first read a little quicker, and um, you know just forcing them to cover everybody on the field. Dion, I know the offensive line as a whole was pretty disappointed last week in the performance. How do you feel like the Bears responded this week? Uh, definitely, we, we put a. F the right foot forward, you know, like we still have a lot of things to cl clean up, like everybody sees the uh, and the score, but there's a lot of like little things that go into it that uh, we take personal and that we got to do a better job because it'll hurt us in the long end. But as long as we just stay on it and just keep pushing, the O line will be all right. Devin, touchdown run, the 43 yarder. I don't think he got touched. Yeah. Uh, it's. It's a great feeling because, uh, like, we care about our and running backs just as much as we care about our and receivers. And for any time that a running back can run without getting touched or even just getting in the end zone, we also take very personal. So, uh, hats off to Motor and those running backs, the skinny guys that that I call them, and we're going to try to continue to get them in the end zone more and more and more times without and getting touched. Josh, Josh. So I'm guessing and that you're like talking about like the, like the rotation like of the guys. Yeah, I mean uh, like that all helps. Like any time that you can practice what you're doing, I mean it it helps. Yeah. Josh, two is in his second year now. Obviously, you didn't get to see much of him today, but you were one of those players that really made that leap from second year and it worked where you are now. Can you talk about looking back at that second year? Do you remember what was most important to you then to make that leap? Yeah, I mean the game just kind of slows down a little bit. Um, Second, and I don't know if he's got the same OC or in the same system or not, um, but that that helps camaraderie with your teammates helps, um, and then just you know trusting what your coaches are telling you and, and trusting the guys around you. And I think that was a big thing for me, you know, not trying to do too much. Um, you know, I still took my lumps in my second and really last year too, and I'm going to continue to take lumps and, and learn from them as we go. Um, but I'm just going to say one thing about the old line to that question. I mean, we we changed stuff yesterday into our uh, run game, put in new plays and. Our guys rolled with it and figured out a way, uh, you know, to go out there and apply it. So, um, you know, being an alignment is not easy by any means. You know, there's so many different bullets flying at you, and uh, you know, they get the blame sometimes when when they really shouldn't. You know, people don't know our blocking schemes and our run our run schemes and where our where our fits are supposed to be and stuff like that. Um, so again, those are my guys. Josh, 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 to that point, how hard is that to do? I mean, what Josh is talking about, just throw something on Saturday up until late next week. Uh, Any time that stuff like goes in late, it's hard. But we're all pros, so like we learn like how to deal with it, and we have a great like quarterback and great guys on the offense that make it easier for us. They're up there, and they they well, I think that the quarterbacks are the most smartest guys in the building. So when they could like just put like little hints, like all right, guys, da -da -da -da, this is what we're doing. That's cool, and that's exactly and what Josh did to keep us all with that right foot forward. So 
hats off to uh, Josh. Josh, I know this wasn't a good, I know this wasn't a good <laughs> wow. game, but uh, you're, you're six in a row against the Dolphins with, with a win. I mean, what is it about playing Miami that, that kind of just brings you know the best out of you or a winning effort out of you? Uh, I mean, we got you know 52 other guys, 52 other guys on the on the team that you know contribute to this and go into the uh, the scout team as well. So we got 60 plus in the building that are you know working their tail off and. You know, division games are the ones that you need to win. Um, you know, you got to win a lot of other ones as well. But mm-hmm. you, you can't lose in the division. That's that's our goal is to to win every game in the division. And um, you know, I don't know if it's an extra added effort, but um, you know, we just we, we we work really hard. You know, uh, especially when we play teams in the division. Josh, what did you talk about at halftime when you came out to, to begin the third quarter and, and took the offense right down the field to put some guys up twenty? Yeah, we we know we needed to get six there and. Um, you know, we had a couple plays early on in that first quarter that helped us get a couple scores. So we wanted to put something together that was, you know, long sustaining and, um, you know, really, I mean, putting us up 21 nothing coming right out of the third quarter. I mean, I think that's that's huge for a team to have that sense of like, okay, like we still can play aggressive here and we don't have to worry about any consequences. We don't have to be afraid. Like, let's just go and, uh, you know, pin our ears back and, and play hard. And that's what our guys did. And, um, you know, hats off to our defense too. Goose egg in the NFL, it's... You know, that doesn't happen too often, so um, you know we got to appreciate these types of moments and the type of plays that our guys made today. That was uh, that was awesome to see. What was the reason for the changes yesterday? Just new stuff in the game plan. Coaches see different things, um, you know. And again, we don't really have much say of what goes in. And, <laughs> Absolutely. You know, I, I think I have the most say, but I still don't have much say. And um, whatever they put in, like we gotta we gotta run it. That's our job to go out and execute. What is that? What is that? It just says that uh, that we learn from our mistakes and that we know how to let things go and move on to what's next. Uh, and that just shows like the type of character of the guys that we have in our locker room that we did not let what happened last week destroy us because something like that can and destroy a football team, any loss, especially home. You know, like with the media in itself, like there's a lot of like different parts uh, and that goes with it. But for the guys that we have in our locker room to put that to bed and move on and with a fresh start, and that just shows that we have the right guys to get this thing done. Josh, there was a hunger in this team. Did you guys feel that? Was it different this week than last week? Absolutely. And I think, uh, you know, especially the first week, it's such an overreaction from really everybody, um, media, and, you know, people see that, coaches see that. So, you know, around the uh, facility, just slightly different feeling. And as, you know, as a team, like, we're like, let's calm down, let's, you know, take it one game at a time. and. That's exactly what we got to do with this week as well. This is, you know, after we learn from the tape tomorrow, it's gone. It's put bed, put to the bed, um, and we got a really good team in Washington coming. I think mm-hmm. they're coming to Buffalo next week, so uh, we got to find a way to to put together a good game plan and go execute for that game. What did Moss show you guys coming back from that fumble to score twice in the second half? It just shows that uh, and that Moss is a guy of character, and he and he flushed that as well. And Moss said, look, and the next time I touch and this ball, I'm going to make it count. And he did that two mm-hmm. more times. And uh, he ran behind his big guys, and he just put his head down. And That last run was sweet, And too. kept on chucking them off. <laughs> Josh, what you two more guys. Today? Uh, a lot, obviously, just scramble, making a play. And, um, again, me and Diggs just kind of have that that rapport of, you know, I, I see something, he sees it, too. And he made a good play of he was running that way. He came back and, and ran the other way and just um, – one, two, and three really weren't open. The running wasn't an option, and uh, you know, just trying to give my guy a chance. When you see that, Last that play on film, I mean, is, is that something where you're like, oh man, I, I probably shouldn't be doing something like that, or are you just happy with the result? It's we call those attaboys. <laughs> <laughs> you completed attaboy. Attaboy. So. Thanks, everyone. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs>